Hello everybody, welcome back to the table. Today we are taking a look at a brand new knife. This one comes from Serge Panchenko and this one is called the EDC. So everyday carry of course, but this is actually the model name based on one of his custom designs. This particular production variant, he contracted out with Real Steel, so that way he can produce more of them and bring them to us at a more reasonable cost. So I just lucked out, I saw the post on his Instagram that was advertising these for sale, so I instantly fell in love with the design and decided to pick one up. So this particular one, I think it was a rather limited run, but they all released direct from his website. But let's really just take a closer look at this little tank of a knife, the EDC by Serge Pinchenko. So here we have a liner lock design with titanium scales. The scales have this really nice stonewash finish to them. All of the hardware looks polished. And on the show side, we have a polished pivot that's nice and flat and flush with the handle. And taking a look at the pocket clip, we have a pocket clip that is right hand side carry, tip up only, so it is not reversible in any way. Uh, the clip does carry kind of high on the handle though, so there's really not much of the knife sticking out when it's in your pocket, so that's kind of nice. So if you're not gonna do deep carry, I think this is the next best thing. And of course it has that very similar finish, so it blends in very well with the rest of the knife. You're gonna notice though on the show side of the handle here, we do have these nice little step downs that lead to the opening hole on the blade. So it helps your thumb just get right in there and dig into this oval shaped opening hole. And it was, what's really nice is this blade, it does run on bearings, so it just flies right out of the handle. So the blade itself, this is an N690 steel blade. It is 3.15 inches in length. And of course, that being said, the overall length of this knife is about seven and five eighths inches. I love the classic shape of this blade. Very nice drop point. The blade also has this really nice stone washed finish on it. Um, here on the show side, we can see that there is the Serge Pinchenko logo on there. And it also has the small P on that logo to stand that this is a production variant of his knives. On the reverse side, we can see the Surge Knife Company logo as well, and the um, blade steel of N690, as well as the serial number of this particular knife. I can't see the information on it anymore, but I do want to say that there were about 200 of these initial models released, and I'm sure that there are much more to come. Uh, so we can definitely look forward to different uh, handle variants and things like that. So that's something to look forward to if you missed this first drop. So the handles with these titanium scales are nice and thick, um, a lot to grab onto here, but I can certainly imagine replacing these titanium scales with, you know, G10 or carbon fiber or micarta is probably going to come in the future. So we have a really nice little beefy package in our hands right here. And so when we open the knife, um, running on bearings, very smooth to open, we can check out the lock up on the liner lock right here. And we can also check out the centering of the blade, which is just totally fine. A rather unique feature that I found on here though, and I haven't seen this on any other knife designs in the past, is taking a look at the lanyard hole on this knife. So right next to the pocket clip, you can see there is a lanyard hole uh, built into the scale, but it doesn't pass all the way through the knife, which is kind of interesting. So if you wanna put a lanyard on here, you most certainly can but he chose not to break up the design of the show scale by putting a hole for the lanyard there. So you still could certainly put some paracord through there without any issue, but it's not gonna be visible from the show carry side of the knife. Um, so that's kind of a unique touch, something I don't think I have ever seen before. So I am definitely very impressed with this knife. The build quality feels great. So Real Steel does make very good quality knives, so I'm glad he went with them to produce this. I'm gonna give you some of my comments though, so things that I think could be improved or changed, but again, that, that might not be true to his actual design. But I noticed first thing off taking this out of the box, uh, there is no jimping on the spine of the blade. And that of course is a design choice right there, but the entire knife has a very smooth handle. There's no real good, good grip on it. It's all titanium, all very smooth. And so for better or for worse, that's what you're getting here. And if you happen to be a fan of the infamous Spidey flick, I find it a kind of difficult to do on this knife because um, while there is this nice recessed area to get your thumb into the opening hole, from the reverse side, there's a lot less area to get your middle finger in there to flick the knife out. 
Um, so my litmus test is I can always say, hey, can I spidey flick the knife easily? And that's kind of my de determining factor as to whether a knife has a good action. I can't really tell on this knife just because it's hard to get my finger in there. I'm sure some people who are very well practiced can do it, but I'm just having a difficult time because the handles are not even on both sides. So again, that's not really a bad thing, but it's certainly something I noticed. And an opening hole this big definitely begs to be spotty flicked because of course that's very uh, fun to do, um, but it's just not quite as easy on this knife as it is on others I've tried. And while we're at it, let's take a quick look at the presentation of the knife. So the box this knife comes in to me is very reminiscent of the same boxes that uh, Boker Plus uses for their, their knives that they come in. So very plain black design, but of course we have the Surge logo on there. And it's also very nice that this knife actually did come with uh, hardware to disassemble it. So we have both of the T6 and the T8 bits included in the box along with the little uh, card from Surge Knife Company. So that's very nice. I always love it when they include the tool with the uh, knife because you can never have too many Torx bits laying around. So that's always a positive. So nice magnetic close feature on the box. Very simple, no other markings, no barcodes because I bought this direct from Surge himself. So we're not going through a middleman. We're not going through a dealer. Um, when you buy this from Surge, he is the one pocketing the money from it. So it's always great to support a knife maker directly if possible. And so this is kind of the next best thing to buying a custom knife straight from the, the maker himself. So we are definitely going to make some knife comparisons in this video. One of the knives I kind of really wanted to compare it to is actually the Zero Tolerance Z Zero 350. And it just kind of reminds me of that knife due to its overall size, its thickness. And I'm betting once we get the EDC knife here with G10 scales, it can give the O350 a run for its money because it's very similar heft, a very similar weight, very similar size. So let's see those two side by side and compare them together. But while we're at it, I'm also going to compare the Surge EDC to the Spyderco Delica, as well as the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. So let's check all these out together. Now, if you've never heard of this knife or you just happen to miss it on the first drop, it sounds like Surge is gonna continue working with real steel to produce these knives in different variants. So there is, of course, hope in the future to pick one up. And the fact that it is a full production knife means that you're gonna have much easier time to get one of these than you would a custom. But at this point, it seems like I've made several videos on Serge's knives before, so I'm certainly a fan of his design style. A lot of his stuff just looks and works really well. So this is probably not going to be the last knife I pick up from him, uh, but I'm very certainly happy that I was able to pick one up. So everyone out there, let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the Serge Knife Company EDC? Uh, do you think Real Steel was a good choice for the OEM manufacturer of this? I think it was a great choice, but tell me what you think in the comments below. Have a nice day, everyone, and bye bye